Supercut is the summer season highlight for racing and fashion fans alike. And we're here on Ladies' Day to take a look at the fabulous hats and the flamboyant outfits that both the women and the men are wearing. Wow, a fabulous outfit. Can you talk me through it today? Um, right, starting with my hat. My lovely hat is from a lovely milliner called Sally Sharp in Sally Hall. Sally, thank you. And uh, my dress is forever unique. And uh, Team Wits and Sophie Webster shoes and Louis Vuitton bag. Is it your first time at Ascot? watch Accessorize. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm a regular here. I love to come for the fashion as well. So what wonderful outfits. Can you tell me where they're from? Thank you. This is a phase eight dress. Um, I bought it for my son's wedding last year and thought I'd give it another eight in today. Very good. <laughs> and what about yourself? Trouser suit? Yes, it's from Coast. Yeah. <laughs> and is it your first time at Ascot? No, we've been quite a few times, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And how long does it take you to prepare your dress before you come? Oh, an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and do you plan well in advance before? We do usually. Yeah. I mean, this year I was lucky because I had this outfit, but normally it takes us several shopping trips to get it right. Yeah. Oh, you both are wonderful. <laughs> Thank, well, you Thank you very much. You. Can you talk me through your outfit today? Uh, hi, so uh, the hat I made myself, I'm a milliner, and the hat is called Taming the Unicorn. <laughs> so kind of just trying to match the outfit, which is by Christopher Kane, uh, and to introduce the iridescence into the, into the hat. So it's a turban-like uh, construction, so it has a, uh, a blocked base and then uh, sort of draping on top. Super. And I'm loving the emerald green, so can you tell me where your dress is from? Um, it is bespoke by my friend. Uh, Vera Fyodorova, and the hat is by my daughter. <laughs> now, it's not just the women who make an effort, men do too, right? Yeah, we do. We try our best. And how long does it take you to come up with wearing this today? Yeah, but what, an hour it took oh, me no, to get ready. Definitely, yeah. yeah. And is it your first time at Ascot? No, we've been before. And you always wear a kilt? Yes, every time. My family tartan as well, so Stuart. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Thanks very much. I recognise you from last year and you make the dresses yourself as I recall? So, yeah, I'm currently studying for my Masters in Glasgow School of Art so this is a great fun outfit you know, that I've made and I've completely changed my speciality from knitwear to embroidery and fabric design. So yeah, here I am, enjoying the day. And how long did it take you to create the hat? Um, the hat is a bit quicker than the dress. The hat maybe took me about, well, not going to lie, about two days to make. The dress is two months. So you can see there's lots of detail there on the dress and the hat's pretty straightforward. So. You look wonderful. Can you give us a twirl? <laughs> so is it your first time at Ascot? It's my first time. I'm very excited to be here. And how long does it take you to choose this outfit today? Uh, not that long because this beautiful Peter Pilotto dress just spoke to me. So you look wonderful. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love the navy today, can you talk me through your outfit choice? Okay, so the hat is by Cara Meehan in London, um, so chose the navy and burnt orange because I thought it would be a little bit more classy. Uh, dress is actually mint velvet, so sort of design uh, high street which I found very good, um, and shoes are Gucci, so of course. And what's your must have fashion piece for Royal Ascot? The hats, the hats always, uh, I always choose my hat about eight to ten months out from Ascot. Uh, so we work through the designs and then on the back of that I then look at the outfit, what's the best way of structuring it, the hair and how you balance it. So depending on how big the hat is or how you need to make the outfit as simple as possible. You look fabulous. Thank you so much. Hi girls, how are you today? Really good, yeah, really excited to go to the races. And talk me through your outfit, I'm loving the metallic today. Thank you, a little bit of sparkle I thought to, you know, brighten maybe the grey skies. And you're a milliner, you say, so you created the hat yourself? Yeah, yeah, and this one. It's a bit of a fave, we love that one. <laughs> They're fabulous, and how long do they take you to make? It really depends on the complexity. Some are quite fast, some, other, some take days. Obviously this is stitched lace, so it takes a, a little bit longer to get, you know, get it laid out right and look proper. You're standing out today, talk me through your hat. Uh, my hat's from Australia, a good friend called Nikki Lee made it for me. Um, just lots of colour because it's Ladies Day and being happy. Wow, what a fabulous hat. Can you talk me through it? Thank you. It's vintage David Schilling. And it's vintage, yeah. And talk me through your dress. Where's your dress from? 
dress from Ruti uh, boutique in uh, Gloucester Road, I would think. Don't know who is by. <laughs> and how comfortable is it to wear a hat like that today? I bought an auction, so I was brave enough actually to wear it today for Ladies' Day. And when you wear it all day, will you have to have a bit of a breather and take it off at some point? Actually, I have a spare one. <laughs> you two both look wonderful. Talk me through your outfits today. So I've got this dress from Natalia Couture along with the hat, and yeah, I've done them to match, especially my mom is the designer, and yeah. And how long did the hat take to make, do you know? Um, about three days, so a bit of an extensive process, but I think it was worth it. And your hat, I love the butterflies. Where's the inspiration for your hat today? Um, I'm not sure, her mum made it the same, yeah. And is it your first time at Ascot? Yeah, it's my first time. And what's your must-have fashion piece for Ascot, would you say? Um, probably a bag, just so you can carry money and everything, yeah. <laughs> you look wonderful. Thank, Thank you very you. much. So, hi there, can you talk me through your hat today? Oh, right, okay, well, um, I had a green dress and then decided I'll buy a basic fascinator and then try and look like a peacock. <laughs> so I bought some feathers and um, created this yesterday for Ascot. So it's very tame by the look of everything though. <laughs> and did you make your friends here as well? No, no, no not this no. one. I had to rush out last I, I minute. Made, I made Christine's. <laughs> she made this hat. <laughs> Um, so yeah, yeah so mine, had a lot of fun. Mine was the last minute, I rushed out to John Lewis and got my hat and that was it. <laughs> so I'm loving the outfit today, can you Thank talk you. me through your look? Well, one of my best friends is Annabella, who's a milliner, who made this creation today. And this is quite an old um, vintage piece that I found in Italy about 10 years ago. I dug it out again, so yeah. And is it your first time at Ascot? It is, yes. Yes, and what are you thinking so far of the fashion? It, it, oh, it's so, so good to people watch. Um, yeah, great. Wow, what an outfit, what a hat. Can you talk me through it? Yes, it's a bouquet of flowers, which is upside down, so that the actual flowers, the roses, are around my face, and the top of the wrapping and the bow is up the top of the hat. And did you make this yourself? Yes, I'm a hat designer and um, it's all silk, called couture and of course I designed the dress as well to match. And how long does it take you to create this lovely outfit? Well, I'm working on quite a few at the same time but on my own ones, I usually start them about three months before. And do you have to hold it? Is it a bit precarious today? It's only because it's just got so windy. It hasn't been windy the whole week, has it? It hasn't. You know, it's been raining, but the wind's been good. But now I've got this really high hat on, and I just seem to be going with it. <laughs> just trying to keep... To hold on tight. Hold, well, keep to the ground. <laughs> Thank you. We've seen some fabulous outfits here on Ladies' Day, some more eccentric than others.